right. Meet Miss Yellow Girl. She is a standard F1 Bernadoodle from Beatrice and Max's liver. She is seven weeks old and she weighs 10 pounds, four ounces. So I'm expecting her adult weight to be um, around the 60 pounds when she's fully grown at about two years old. She has medium energy level and she is a sable tricolor as far as her coat color goes. So you can see, let's turn you, I know babe, it's so weird. So you can see how she's much darker back here. And then she's got the lighter up front. So again, that's the, the hair, each hair, it starts with a really light um, tan at the base. So if her hair is cut short, she's gonna look much different. And then it darkens up. So some of the tips of her hair are black and some are just a little bit darker brown. And she also has a white around her muzzle and a little bit of a blaze. And then on the front of her paws, she's got some really great tan markings. And of course the white tips on her paws from the back and the front and the tip of her tail there. She also has white hair on her chest. Yeah, you're doing so good. And she um, has a nice wavy coat. It's really a loose wave right now. So I'm expecting that to change when she gets her adult coat. That usually happens about six months of age. And she loses her puppy coat and her adult coat is growing in. And so she's gonna be more wavy with probably some big loose curls. It's kind of like a wave that's crested over. So her coat care is going to be um, needed about every six to eight weeks, which is pretty normal for one of our doodles. And then with weekly brushing to keep those mats out. This girl has been the most talkative in the litter. You wouldn't know it right now. She's like, what are you doing? We don't really practice this, do we? She has been since the beginning, the one who, when I'm working with the puppies, she likes to let me know that she's ready to go and she's got super good focus when I am working with her. Um, even in the group, she likes to really pay attention to what I'm doing and not be distracted to make sure she hasn't missed out on anything because she is a busy girl. She definitely likes to be involved in things and to explore and check it out. She is our most active puppy in the litter. Um, and I think that's because she's got such a drive to be able to work. Now, it doesn't mean that she can't chill out when we're doing that, but um, as far as all of her litter mates, she's the one who's showing the most a desire to learn new things and to be able to keep progressing on what she's learning. So she would do good in a home with someone who, it doesn't mean you have to be training all the time and all the puppies should be trained, of course, but this girl can probably go a little bit further with her training than what some of the others will do because she is so confident and so willing to do that. She um, would do best in a home with children who are over five years old, just because she does have a little bit more energy. So I think that that would just help to make it a really good environment for everyone. And she would do um, good with elderly, provided that they have a little bit more active lifestyle. This girl is um, not going to be content to just be sitting at home all day, every day. Doesn't mean she won't have days like that, perfectly fine. That she's going to want to go and be able to explore and meet new people and have new adventures. She'd also do great with other pets. She's really great with all of our other dogs. And let's see, I think that's about it for you right now, sweetie. That is Miss Yellow. Somebody's very sad out there right now, huh? Okay. Whoops, let's turn that.